Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is King Production. We're going to be preaching about Lucifer, the fall of a greed angel, Lucifer. Lucifer was in heaven. He was the most beautiful out of all the angel God created. He was an archangel, a guardian angel in God's throne that oversees everything. Lucifer was the most beautiful angel God created. He wanted God's power and God worship. He wanted to be just like God. And through his mind and heart, he said, I will ascend above God's throne and I will be just like God. By saying that his selfishness and his greed for power and worship influenced one third of the angel. He tried to overthrow God and heaven, and he caused a great division in heaven. One third of the population of the angel was on Lucifer's side. Michael and his angel fought against Lucifer. Lucifer lost his position in heaven, and he was cast down on earth. God's love was so great he did not destroy Lucifer at the spot because that would cause a cause and effect. The other good angels would be fearful of God that God destroyed Lucifer suddenly at heaven. So God cast Lucifer and the other angels that followed his footstep to overthrow him. They was cast down on earth where Lucifer did the same to Adam and Eve, our ancestors. He tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eve. He tempted Eve and he said to Eve, did God say you should not eat the forbidden tree? Eve replied back and said, God said, if we surely eat from the knowledge of the forbidden tree, we will surely die. Satan answered back and said, no, you won't die, but your eyes will be open and you will have power, just like God. Lucifer lose that same trick. He was a sinner since the beginning in heaven because of his sin for great to have power just like God, he was cast down and God and Eve. So he want God creation to sin just like him so he could influence them, so he could trick them. But God loved so great. God loved and stop. Eve fell for that trick, fell for that lie of Satan and she ate the apple. Her eyes were open, and she gave the apple to her husband. And her husband, Adam, ate the apple, and his eyes was open. They sinned against God. That's what Satan wanted, a way in, a way to influence and to control them. By his lie and deceit, he deceived Adam and Eve to eat the apple, and they ate the apple, and he, he became their God. He controlled, influenced. But God loved so great, he cursed the Satan, and he said, from her descendant, it would be her seed that would crush your head, which is sin. And we're gonna soon talk about that, that promising seed, the righteous seed that God prophesied by putting the curse on Satan. He cursed Adam and Eve, and he took them out, cast them out of paradise, and they had to live the hard life, the hardship. They had to work hard to earn a living but God's love was great. God's love was still there. God didn't give up.
a loving God that loved us so great with all his heart. God love did not give up. He's still there for us. God love is bigger than anything in the world. People, you gotta understand that God love us 24 hours. No love can place the love of God. God love us unconditional. And his love is bigger, bigger, bigger than the world problem. Adam and Eve was kicked out. The great love of God still hold their hand. God dropped a curse on Satan and said, her descendant, the righteous seed, will crush your head through century. From Abraham, from Noah, Joseph, promises he went through from King David, Solomon, to Moses' time, the tabernacle. The tabernacle, when God made the laws on Mount Sinai, he gave the commandment, the Ten Commandments to Moses for the people to follow. Whoever broke that Ten Commandments was stoned to death. But God's love was so great. God's love was so great. He wanted to restore what Adam and Eve lost. The promise of seed. Through the example of the, the tabernacle, through Moses' time, people sin was forgiven every year. They had to sacrifice an animal. Through the blood of an innocent animal so the sin could be forgiven. Every year they had to sacrifice an animal to God in Moses' time just to have their sin forgiven. Now Genesis went by Decades went by, the promising seed, Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem. The promising seed that God prophesied and God in the Eden to Satan, her seed will crush your head, which was Jesus Christ, the promising seed. Christ went to the wilderness and was tempted by the devil, Lucifer. And he said, if you the son of man, turn the stone to bread. Jesus Christ replied back to Satan, no man can live on bread alone, but by every word of God. Then Satan took Jesus Christ higher to the mountain and showed him the splendor the beautifulness of the world. And he said, all of this I own if you worship me. And Jesus Christ replied, replied back and said, no, I worship only God. Then Satan said, if you jump off this walk, call your angels to save you. And Jesus Christ replied back, you cannot tempt God. And Lucifer, Flee from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ passed temptation, which Adam and Eve lost. Satan tried to do that old trick that he did on Adam and Eve to lie and try to use that old trick to gain, to have power and fame. But Jesus Christ didn't fall for that trick. He was strong in God. He lived only through the word of God. He was just like us through the flesh, preaching the word of God. Every word that came to Jesus Christ's mouth was the word of God. He passed that test in the wilderness 
that Satan tried to do that old trick that Adam and Eve lost to have fame and power. But Jesus Christ didn't fall for that. His fame was God. His word was God. God was everything to him. God was his weapon, which is God's word. Jesus Christ prophesied, heal the blind, set the captives free, raised people from the dead. He spread God's word. He had 12 disciples and preached God's word all through Jerusalem. The Roman soldiers heard about Jesus Christ. The Pharisees saw the power of Jesus Christ. So they was threatened by this one man, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ preached the word of God, never stop. Cause he see a vision. He see the future to set us free from sin. When Satan caused our ancestor Adam and Eve to fall. He came to the world to restore God, power for mankind to have power, which is God's kingdom, dominion. And Jesus Christ was captured by the Pharisees. Said that he's a rebel, but he wasn't a rebel. He was the word of God. He was Jesus Christ, the promised seed. So they put him, they bring him to the pallet, the government soldier. And the pallet said, what has this man did? They didn't find no cause to put him to death. So he said, let the people judge. The Jewish people give up Jesus Christ and let the thief get away. And he was sent to be crucified to death. But that was all in God's plan. For him to die for the whole world, sin to be restored. Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of us to restore us back to God's glory, which Adam.